Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Now, as many parents already know, when children spend too much time online, they can become disruptive and lose concentration. And it's become such a problem in our schools that a Cavan-based occupational therapist has designed a special programme called Brain Cam to help improve concentration levels. Well, to date, several schools using the programme have reported very positive results. And to find out more, I'm joined now by the founder of Brain Cam, Brenda Cassidy, and the principal of School Ciarán in Donny Carney, Dublin, Kira Hart. A very good morning to you both. Morning. Yeah. Uh, Kira, you haven't you installed BrainCam in the school uh, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, why why did you do that? Did you notice over the past number of years problem more problems arising with with well, the not kids? Not necessarily problems. We just felt that the needs of the children were changing, and it was something that we wanted to explore and address and see were there any supports or methods that we were able to put in place to address these changing needs that have come about, as you've referenced, with regard to the reliance and in interest the children show now in technology and things like that. And our overall objective is always to increase a child's ability to engage with their learning. So then through the Primary Principals Network, came across Brenda and her programme and we got in touch. And from then we've been working together and we've implemented the programme now across the school. Um, and it's been very successful. Um, we're very lucky. I have a wonderful team of people that I work with. And um, we have 14 SNAs now who have completed their training with Brenda in the programme. And uh, we run it on a daily basis now across all our classes. And Brenda, is the programme for all kids or mm -hmm. for children with special needs or is it, is it inclusive? It's very much inclusive, Sybil, and I designed it that way. Um, I suppose I developed it in a while well, I was working in a school in the south of the inner city in Dublin where we had a lot of children with what I call something going on, sometimes stuff that's not diagnosed. It might look like ADHD, children with autism or traits of autism, um, sensory issues, which is very, very prevalent and separate to autism, very prevalent. They, they say about one in six kids in, in classrooms have all sorts of issues, sensory issues, um, combined with dyspraxia, dyslexia and various other conditions. So I developed it really uh, in answer to a need to Within settle your own children. Family, was it well, well? I have two children with sensory issues myself and, and I would have a good smattering of, of sensory issues. Sometimes this stuff can come through the bloodline. Sometimes it can be uh, a child can be born premature and show um, developmental issues. Um, more and more what's happening, Sybil, is that children are presenting with issues like sensory issues issues or um, coordination delays, concentration, attention problems, um, where in fact it's environmental, it's not a neurological problem per se.